This video, this video is going to cover the blood type compatibility experiment in 1.9. When you are completing this exercise and you have your four cups that are labeled and filled with water and the respective food coloring identified in the preparation, and as you compare a donor with a recipient blood type, you're going to record your answers in terms of which blood types are compatible with each other. What blood types can be donated to what types of, or what blood types that can be received. So can a type A be donated to a person with type O? Or can a type AB blood be donated to a person with type B? So in the procedure, it goes through kind of what I've just talked about. But in step six, it says you can access the chart and questions by clicking here. So under the here is linked. So we're going to click on that. It'll load up. It'll give you a table and three questions. You're not going to insert any answers in the table, but rather you're just going to type in the box what the compatibility is for certain blood types. So I'm just going to change this to a student role and then we can see what you will see. So when you're submitting, uh, you do have an add submission option. So you can click on that. It'll give you a text box again, where you can type in your data. So you're not gonna type in this table up here, but rather you're going to type in your answers in the online text box. So I've said use this format, donor type, in this case O, with receiver type A, colon, and then compatible. That one I'm giving to you, that one is correct. We can donate a type, type O blood to a, re, a recipient who has type A. So we're just gonna type that in, and then you can continue on. If you go uh, shift enter, it just goes down one line, and then you can continue donor type O and receiver type B. And is that compatible or incompatible? And you're going to go through all 16 combinations. Once you've done the 16 combinations, then you can start answering the three questions. And if you complete it all, then you can submit at the end. But I'm going to save the changes because I need to go do something else. And then I'm going to come back later. We see the online text there that I've already inserted. And now I can go back to edit submission at the bottom. Once I'm completely done, then I can submit the assignment. So make sure you go through all 16 combinations of blood types and answer the three questions. Completely fill out all your information in the online text box under edit submission or add submission at the very beginning and then submit assignment.